His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received the Qadibiyya Palace today. Several members of the royal family, senior officials, businessmen and traders, led by the Chairman of the Bahrain Com Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Khalid Mu'ayyad. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed the government's keenness to continue to support the commercial and industrial process of the country and its support to the private sector and businessmen as well. He commended the role of BCCI in the commercial field, stressing the necessity for these efforts to push forward the fields of commerce and industry amid the current economic challenges. He asserted the importance of maintaining the BCCI's role as a partner behind its commercial march and a home for traders, highlighting the need to unify efforts which will directly be reflected on the commercial field and express optimism in the increase in major projects in the economic, commercial and investment fields which contribute to the national economy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the role of the private sector and businessmen in supporting developmental efforts, saying that the investment atmosphere of the kingdom is diverse and can cope to international changes through finding more opportunities. He pointed out the importance to continue to develop this atmosphere in order to attract more investments that would support the national economy and contribute in creating more job opportunities for the people. The Prime Minister stressed the government's keenness to provide facilities that would enhance the competitiveness of the investment environment of the kingdom and preserve its pioneering location in attracting investments and capitals in the region. He called on intensifying promotions for investment opportunities in all fields in order to support the government's approach and diversifying sources of income. He also highlighted the role of commercial families in supporting and activating the economic movement of the kingdom, appreciating their contribution to the development and progress of the country. The Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, chaired the weekly meeting today where the Council approved a letter by the Speaker of the Representatives Council regarding civil and commercial procedures. The Council did not approve draft laws regarding amendment of grades and salary schedule, establishment of salaries and pension fund, and establishment of an account of the living standards level of citizens who work in the private sector. The Council approved a report regarding regulating pension and retirement benefits for government employees. The Shura Council Speaker then congratulated the head of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee, Delal Zayed, on being the first woman to earn the position of Vice President of the Legislative and Legal Affairs Committee and Human Rights in the Arab Parliament. He expressed pride in the role of Bahraini women, wishing her further success in the new position. In a press conference held in the Egyptian capital Cairo, Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquities announced the Kingdom's cultural program as a guest of honor at the 47th Cairo International Book Fair. Representing the President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Director of Culture and Arts, Sheikh Hala bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, asserted the importance of Bahrain's participation in the Cairo Book Fair, which will be held on the 27th of January until the 10th of February. She also said that the 2016 edition of the book fair under the title Bahrain, Your Destination stresses the kingdom's interest in invest investing in its cultural heritage. For his part, the chairman of the Egyptian General Authority for Books and National Documents, Dr. Haytham al Haj Ali, expressed his pride that Bahrain is part of this year's Cairo International Book Fair. The press conference reviewed the important topics listed in Bahrain's cultural program as the Bahrain's Authority for Culture and Antiquities will organize a number of poetry and musical nights in addition to lectures presented by distinguished Bahraini writers. The fourth Bahrain International Air Show kicks off this weekend with exhibitors and visitors from around the globe gathering at Sakhir Air Base. 
More now on this story from Paul Frazier. Preparations are well underway for Bahrain International Air Show, which takes off this Thursday, the 21st of January, for three days of thrills and action. This year sees the Russian Knights, the UAE's Al Fasan, the Saudi Hawks, the Indian Air Force's Sarang helicopter display team, and the Twisters taking to the skies of Bahrain. With magic shows, music, and static displays, it's going to be a great day out for all the family. Now, apart from the public display, this is a hugely important business event with 2.8 billion US dollars of orders and commitments made at the show in 2012. Bahrain's geographical location, coupled with the region's most liberal business environment, are just some of the factors which have resulted in this year's air show seeing its strongest international presence with a 30% increase in foreign business participation. Nine times British aerobatic champion and Bahrain International Air Show regular Mark Jeffries will be opening this year's show, flying his extra 330 SC. Mark has taken some time out to join us, just quickly, because I know you're a busy man. But this is the fourth time you've been at Bahrain International Air Show. Yes, it is, and uh, it's a great privilege to be invited back, and the warm welcome from everybody, lots of familiar faces, and uh, of course the warm weather. And of course, people, you're unmistakable from the fact that you actually open the air show each year, or you have for the past few years. Yes. Now, this is a different aircraft you brought with you this year. Yes, this is a single-seater. It's got more performance than the aircraft I bought uh, two years ago now. And it's very agile. It's, uh, it is the most agile aerobatic aircraft in the world. The, uh, the day, day before the show kicks off, on the uh, 20th, just at dusk, I'm going to go up to 10,000 feet. And I've got the ability to carry fireworks on this aircraft. And I'm going to light some fireworks on the aircraft very high and come spiralling down. So... If you're in the city, look to the south. Uh, it's around about uh, half past five on uh, Wednesday. You'll see something that uh, has not been seen before. From Sakhir Air Base, this is Paul Fraser for Bahrain Television.